Want to learn how to freeze your avatar anywhere you want? Well let's get to work. Hello everyone my name is Randomly and today I am going to show you all how to freeze your avatar anywhere on VR chat. Before we get started on this tutorial, I want to point out some things you need to know before watching this full video, number 1, the freeze effect of your avatar is not actually freezing, more like a clone of yourself being left behind and your main avatar goes invisible when you toggle a gesture, number 2, is polygons, if you have an avatar that is not optimized, by the end of this tutorial your polygons will double the amount, so please be aware that this can cause serious lag or you might accidentally crash yourself. My recommendation is if you have an avatar that is somewhere around 70,000 polygons, it is kinda okay to play around with 140,000 polygons but it might have little lag or some people will have your avatar hidden. Number 3, you are going to need world constraints for this tutorial, if you don't have world constraints, I made a video on how to make one for yourself so go check that out in the description below before you continue. So let's begin with this tutorial, start off by dragging your world constraint into your hierarchy and not on your avatar just yet. After that, go ahead unpack the prefab and delete the cube or model. Highlight your main avatar and press Ctrl D to duplicate to create a clone. Here we are going to rename the clone to freeze mode, or you can call it however you want. We also going to need to rename the body to body freeze on your clone avatar as well. This is very important that you rename the body because it will cause problems. After you rename your clone, delete the VRC avatar descriptor and the pipeline manager in the components, make sure you don't accidentally delete the components in your main avatar. Don't delete the animator just yet because we need it as a template for the next part. Now go ahead and drag your freeze model into the container. Then you can drag your world constraint onto your main avatar, don't forget to move your reset transform onto your main avatar. Make sure the reset is not on the body or armatures. Now for the ugly part, make sure you follow these step correctly because one mistake will ruin the whole project. Highlight your main avatar, press and hold your right arrow key on your keyboard to open everything in your hierarchy. Locate your hip armature in your freeze model. Here we are going to add a component and select the parent constraint. Open the settings and press the plus button to open a sources. Now we need to locate your main hip armature and drag it into the empty transform slot. Once you done that, go ahead and check the boxes is active and lock. After you are done with the parent constraint on your freeze model's hip, go back and locate the hip again in your freeze model and go one armature down, mine is the left leg, highlight the armature and scroll down until you see your last armature. Hold shift and highlight everything, but make sure you don't highlight your freeze model's body. Now we are going to add a component but this time we are going to use a rotation constraint. Open the settings and check the is active box but don't press the lock, then you can press the plus button. Now follow this step very carefully, when you highlight one of your freeze model's armature, locate the same armature in your main avatar and drag it into the empty transform slot. You are going to do this to each and every armature. Do not skip or accidentally put the wrong armature in the sources because it will cause problems. What I like to do is start at the very bottom and work my way up to the top. As you can see, when I am done placing the armatures, I slowly close them so I don't get confused or lost. Once you are done placing each and every armature in the rotation constraints, we can now highlight your freeze model and remove the animator component reason that we don't delete the animator from the beginning is because it might glitch out and cause your armatures to drift or move to a different spot while we place our rotation constraints. Now go ahead and find your freeze model's body and uncheck the box to hide your clone. Now we can start animating, highlight your main avatar and press Ctrl D to duplicate and hide your main. This is because we can work on the animations and just in case if you mess up. 
Go to your assists folder and find a location where you are going to place your animations and there you can highlight the clone and create a new animation. We are going to call this freeze on. Press the record button and then locate the freeze model, press and hold the right arrow key on your keyboard and open all the armatures. Find your main body and uncheck the box to hide. Find the container and uncheck the parent constraint, also find your hip armature and uncheck the parent constraint. Go one armature down and highlight all your armatures but not the body freeze, uncheck the rotation constraint. And finally check the box in the body freeze to show the clone. Once you have all that done, go one frame over and double click just above the keyframe to copy all the previous keys. Now we are going to create a new animation clip but this time we are going to call it freeze off. Same thing like freeze on, but everything is backwards, press the record button and do everything again but backwards. Find your main body and double click the check box. Find the container and double click the parent constraint and do the same with the hip. Highlight all your armatures and double click the rotation constraint. And last, double click the body freeze. Go one frame over and double click the keyframe to create a copy. And we are all done with animations, so now you can hide the duplicate, and unhide your main avatar. Locate the two animations that you have created and highlight each one. There you can uncheck loop time. Now we can set up our menu and the parameters, locate an area in your assets folder where you like to store your parameters and menu, right click, create, VR chat, avatars, and there you can create your menu and parameters. Give them a name like para freeze and menu freeze. Highlight your main avatar and scroll down in your avatar descriptor until you find expressions and click on customize, there you can go ahead and drag your menu and parameters. Now we need your FX. If you don't have a main FX, you can look at the world constraint video I made and look for the FX and controller chapter or skip to 5 minutes. I am going to highlight the main FX I have and press Ctrl D to make a copy and of course give it a name. Go back to your main avatar and look for playable layers which you can drag and drop your new FX. Now back to your assets and double click your FX, click on layers and click on the plus button, there you can make a new layer and call it freeze. Press the gear icon and set the weight to 1. Now click on parameters, the plus button and select INT, finally call it freeze. Now back to the assets folder, locate the parameters and the menu, we are going to set them up first. Double click the menu and add a new control. There you can name it however you want but I am going to call it freeze mode. Set the type to toggle and there you need a parameter. Double click your parameter and click on add. Rename to freeze and set the type to int. When you give it a name, make sure you spell the parameters exactly in your fx because it will not work. Now we can go back to the menu and set the parameters to freeze. Go back to your FX and into layers, there you can highlight. Find your two animations and make sure you drag the off animation first. 
right click the animations and set the transitions like shown. Highlight the off animation and open the transitions. Uncheck right defaults and has exit time, open the settings and set the transition offset to zero. And finally set the conditions to freeze, equal to one. Now do the same thing the on animation, right defaults and has exit time turn off, transition duration set to zero, and last set the conditions but this time set it to freeze, not equal to one. And we are all done, the last thing to do is give it a build test and see the results, if you follow my tutorial correctly, I wish you all the best and have fun out there. Like always, keep smiling for me.